Hi guys, Mr. Holding here, and, and again I'm joined by Mr. Jarrett. Um, today we're going to, on this video, we're going to go through um, the actual titration procedure. So we've we've organised everything in the previous videos. We've got our base in here, we've got our acid in there, we've got it all, everything washed and ready to go. Um, so I'm going to hand over to Mr. Jarrett now to um, take us through the actual procedure and show us a few skills to make sure we do it with accurate. So, Mr. Jarrett, thank you. Um, because we've done everything so far. Everything is right, it's ready to go. It's a bit like painting. If you prepare the surface correctly, then the painting is the easiest part of it. So we get down to this, we're ready for action. We want it to be accurate. So what I have, I notice that there's a drop on the bottom of that. I'll just take that drop off. Now, when I do something, I, I use one hand, and I use one hand, and I use my thumbs, my thumb, to move... Uh, the tap. So that's that's the method I'm going to use. All right, we put in three drops of indicator. We're ready for action. So that's clear. But I can see there. Um, I don't know if we can see, but I can actually see that there's some pink residue on the side. So what does that mean? That's right, because a little bit of that has run down the side of the beaker. Uh, it's it's um, been affected with the indicator. And so therefore we get a pink colour. Now, if that's a problem, you can, with a little bit of water, wash the material down there because we don't want material left on the, the edges of the glass, on the inside of the glass. Okay, so I take a while then to get a feel for the tap. And so I'm trying to work out how best to do this. So I, I, I get comfortable so I can have a slow or fast so I'm just getting used to it. Now, as you do a titration, the reason we swirl is that we want to mix it really well. Now, when you put a drop in, as you get close to the end point, the pink colour stays because it's uh, concentrated. It's not mixed. We so, um, have a look on this side. Okay, here. so we put a couple of drops in. Can you pick that up? Uh, I'm not going to move your oh. hand, sir. So here we go. Is that a bit better? So we can see the drops dropping in there. That's right. And when they hit, they, they, they go bright, that vivid pink. That's right. And they disappear very quickly. So as, as it becomes closer to neutral, what will happen to the length of the, um, the pink drops? Will they, will, they, will they disappear as quickly or will they start to slow down? They will take longer to get rid of. So as you get closer, you realise that you've got to swirl a lot more to get rid of that. So getting, as we get closer and closer, We've got to be on our guard. Now the first titration is, is not too bad. We take that as a, a rough one. We want a target. I'm going to do uh, two or three more, more accurately. So the first one doesn't have to be spot on. We just want to get a rough position. So that's taking a bit longer now, isn't it? Yes. So I'm swirling, but the pink is staying around longer. And I've got to be careful not to over... Well, I don't want to overshoot too much, but it doesn't matter because it's the first titration. And as I said, it gives me a target. But you can see that takes a while to get rid of. You've got to be careful. So that's why you've got to be able to control the tap just to get it drop-wise. So it's getting very close. And you've got to be careful not to get too excited. So I notice you're, you're pretty much going drop by drop now. So you're dropping, stopping. So drop, I'm, stop. I'm sensing I'm close, so I've got to slow right down. Okay. Now, if you get a drop, you may just notice there's a drop on there. You can use the wash bottle. If you think you're really close, uh, you can use the wash bottle just to wash that drop in because it may have an effect. Because this, what you, what you want to do is get down to half a drop if you can. So I'm pretty close. Whoa, I'm pretty close. Now, that's it. You want the pink colour to stay for about 30 seconds. I'm very close. I'm just there, but it's got a little drop on the end. Now that's been registered. The, the um, meniscus has dropped because that's just about left the machine. And I can use the wash bottle again to wash that in. And this time notice that the pink stays. And um, I have overshot by about half a drop. You're going to get so accurate that you realise that even that's not quite good enough. But that's not too bad. So that was off. 
we turned it off and there was just a drop hanging and that was enough to go from acidic to Colourless. basic. Yeah, that's right. So we were right on the edge, on the fence. So we, we, we had just stepped over the line. So, so because that's, that's from the point where it dropped to now, it's, it's faded a little bit. That's still over. If it gets, even if it's only lasts for that yeah. slight second. If it's pink, it's over. Okay. If it's pink, it's over. And you want it to be as pale as can be. So that's not a bad titration, but you would like it to go, to be even paler than that. That's, yeah. when, that's when you're getting very good. And that's when you uh, wash that half a drop in, and that was, that's, makes a difference. And when you titrate, you'll do, say, three titrations, and you want them to agree within 0.1 of a mil. So it's got to come within just one line on the, um, the burette. Mm -hmm. So you need to agree, you need to get two, two the same, or to agree within 0 0.1 of a mil, you're there. Okay, that's accurate. All right. Well, thank you very much for that. Um, you know, we now we know how what to do. We know what we're looking for. So we want a very very faint pink, um, and we need to make sure. So I suppose probably the, one of the key things to doing this is to learn how to how to manipulate the tap and get confident with that. It's the tap. That's right. Oh. And. I say 0.1, so some people are, uh, you know, there can be half a mil difference. Um, go back yeah. and start again. Yeah. You've got to get closer than that. Mm -hmm. And you'd quickly run in. I thought, did we start? Okay, so with this, as you can see, that you'll be able to see it. It's been sitting here for a while, and you can see it's, it's faded. Now, if you were to get that, um, if we were to get that from that one drop, that would be pretty much what we're mm -hmm. looking for, maybe slightly, slightly better. So that, that's, we know what we're looking for. The other thing, as you said, you do you run one just to get a guide. So we can I can see here it's it's you know eleven point eight or so. So I know next time I could I could run get in, rid of running ten running fast. Yep, and then slow down for the last little bit. So you'll do the second. The more you do, then the quicker you get because you'll run in the first amount very quickly. Okay, and then slow down because you've got a target, right. and you know roughly where you should be. Okay, fantastic. All right, well, I think that's what we've got. We've covered all the videos with how to set up, how to have fill clean, and, and then finally how to do it. Um, so thank you very much, Mr. Jarrett, for your help. Um, and we hope that this is um, helpful for you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it.